All eyes on Kylian Mbappe. In wonderful form, can he add to his goal-scoring haul today on EA TV? Hello, great to be with you. We're here in Stratford at the London Stadium, a ground built originally for the Olympics in 2012. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Ham United versus Arsenal. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Real pleasure to be here. Looking forward to this game. Players will be a bit nervous. I was always nervous at the start of games. It's important you get your first pass off to your colleague, maybe get a good tackle in, settle the nerves down. Looking forward to a good game here. And given away. Kieran Tierney. Now with De Jong. Awar. Bayerin. Can he put them in front? But it can't get all the way through. And he knocked it over the touchline. So it will be a throw in here. Options in the centre. I believe there's been a goal in the Forest game. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for... Can they nudge in front? Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off in his pomp. To confirm, Leicester have scored in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Lee, what are you expecting from Mbappe? Well, Derek, how do you stop him? Very difficult, I would say. He's got absolutely everything, playing with such confidence. Defenders really need to up the game today to stop him. William Saliba. On the ball, Zakaria. Kieran Tierney. Mbappe. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Is it going to be? And this time, it's in! And that is not going to count. The decision is offside, Lee. Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. Mario Pasalic. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Oh, it might be. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, look at this again. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. And from that sort of range, there's only one winner. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? De Jong Kieran Tierney I believe there's been a goal in the City game Alan can fill us in It's a goal for Manchester City 23 minutes played, 1-1 Many thanks Alan An alert piece of defending Frankie De Jong Pepe is with Awar. De Jong. Oh, tight offside decision. But the flag does go up. Frankie De Jong. Awar. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And a bad pass it was. De Jong. Lozano. Tierney. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Lozano. Really good challenge. West Ham have hardly had the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Well, possession seeded. 
Let's join Alan McAnally because I understand there's been a goal on the Aston Villa game. Alan? It's a goal for Everton. 33 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Could cross it in here. Hussam Awar. A very effective challenge put in. Jared Bowen. Mario Pasalic. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And this situation could be dangerous. Oh, a tremendous block. Frankie de Jong. It's with Irving Lozano. In behind for him to chase. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, here's the replay. It's a gorgeous ball over the top. And because he's on his own, he collects himself and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Yerai is with Pasalic. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. And they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Felipe Anderson. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Robert Snodgrass. Oh, skipping away. And it's still on. Well, the threat was very... He's got to score! Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. A chance now with the corner. Played into the centre of the box. And the problem not completely solved. Well, they survived the attack. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Oh, what an opportunity. Courageous goalkeeping, but he's got the ball. Well, you have to be brave, don't you? Diving at the feet of a player like that. Good goalkeeping. I believe there's been a goal in the Forest game. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a second goal for Leicester City. 56 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers again, Alan. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's West Ham United taking on Leicester City. Yeah, the fixtures come in thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Though hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Nicola Pepe. Oh, in with a chance. Mbappe! Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. De Jong is with Awar. Zakaria, De Jong. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. I can tell you, a goal has been scored at Old Trafford. Who has scored that goal? Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Chelsea. 62 minutes played. 1-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. And a strong tackle. This might be ideal for the counter. Lozano. And attempting the through ball. And now can he keep calm? Mbappe's finish, his goal. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And he composes himself, coolly slides it past a lonely keeper who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. 
What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, news coming through of a penalty. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a penalty for Aston Villa. He's put the ball down on the spot. Little step. Filled the goalie. Good strike. 71 minutes played. 3-2. Many thanks, Alan. Lozano. Pepe. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans are doing their bit, trying to spur them on for the equaliser. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Mario Pasalic. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. And back with Felipe Anderson. Takes it on. Well, it's the late show, and they are level again. Well, as we can see, it's all about the technique. That's where the power comes from. Blistering shot. Once again, the sides are level. It's a kaleidoscope of shifting emotions. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Hector Bellerin. Now with Pepe. And can they make one of these passes count? Awar. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Lozano. Zakaria. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Zakaria. No, high quality defending. Well, sloppy in possession. Good tackle. Robert Snodgrass. One minute remaining. It should be. This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. It will be very instructive to see how Arsenal respond to that setback. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation. So the final whistle now, and disappointment for Arsenal, you've got to say. A defeat for...